Rigging the boat correctly is the first step for every sailor to perform well at any of the following exercises. Firstly, it is important to categorize the gear and check that we have all the necessary parts needed to rig the boat. Secondly, we should put each part in the correct order so we can later progress all work that needs to be done more quickly and more easily. While the boat is on the trailer, it is advisable to attach a small rope of the trailer from one side and the chain plate at the bow of our boat on the other hand to ensure she stays securely on the trailer. It is very helpful to have two support hands on which we can place our mast so we can rig it. Attaching the trapezes and the shrouds before we put our mast on the boat is essential and should be done correctly before the mast is positioned in the upright position. The two trapezes should be attached together using a bungee cord that starts above the spreaders and passes under them before attaching the trapeze on the other side. The spreaders should be carefully bolted, with the screws not tightened too much so the spreaders can move. When the mast is ready, we have to make sure that we hold all the lines properly so they do not get tangled as the mast is placed on the boat. While we put the mast on the boat, we should be certain it is positioned correctly on the mast step and all the lines and halyards are clear. Then we push the mast all the way forward in order to attach the forestay. We check the forestay is clear from all other lines and then attach it to the front hole of the chain plate. As soon as the forestay is attached, we pull the mast back again and make sure that when the forestay is fully stretched, the wider part of the mast does not pass the end of the mast gate. The next step is to attach the shrouds. First, we take off the safety pin from the side chain plate and then put the first pin through the preferred hole with a shroud wire between. To secure it, we put the safety ring back on, which should be taped to avoid it getting caught with anything. Following that, we need to set the bungees on the trapeze ring that holds them in the right place. Next step is to attach the spinnaker halyard. After putting it through the block at the base of the mast, it should go back to the clam cleat. The block should be preferably one with ball bearings, so there is less friction and faster and easier hoisting can be achieved. Finally, we attach the end of the spinnaker halyard to the bungee that keeps it tight and easy to reach. Next, we set the uphaul and downhaul for the spinnaker pole. We start by attaching the uphaul to the block that adjusts it up and down, and then we find the lowest point for the pole. We hook the pole on so we can set it just below vertical to the mast and this would be the lowest point. After that, we can leave the spinnaker pole on and attach the downhaul to the bungee that will keep the pole from going up. Next move is to take the slack out of the rope and attach the end to the bungee. By unhooking the pole, the bungee should be able to pull the rope so it keeps tight and is not loose, otherwise it will get tangled. After finishing preparing the mast, it is time to put the boom on. The first step is to put the main sheet on. There are two different ways of doing this. One is to pass the main sheet through the center of the bridle block and then continue with the other blocks until we finish at the main big block with the cleat. The second way is to pass the main sheet through the base of the bridle block. Both ways are correct and it depends on the helm's personal preference. Next up of the boat preparation are the jib sheets. We need to pay attention to the sheet is passed under the boom and then through the cleats before going forward, passing between the shrouds and the mast so the two ends meet. That is the attachment point to the jib. Finishing the sheets, we pass the spinnaker sheet again under the boom, making sure that it passes outside everything and in front of the forestay before both ends meet at the port spinnaker bag where the spinnaker will be. After all sheets are on the boat, we can attach the vang first on the mast and after making sure that the vang is not tangled, we can attach it to the boom as well. Then we can start putting the sails on the boat. It is easier to start with the spinnaker, where we keep the ends outside the bag and start pushing first the footer of the spinnaker in the bag and then continuing with the rest. The red clue of the spinnaker should be on the left side of the boat and the green clue on the right side. The jib is the next sail placed and should always be put on before the main sail so the rig is tensioned. 
We first attach the jib sheets to the clue of the sail, and then a second person is needed to help unroll the sail while one holds the tack of the jib. When the jib is properly laid and stretched, we can push the jib wire through the sleeve, starting from the bottom and pushing it through to the top. The bottom end of the wire should then be pinned at the back hole of the front chain plate. The top end is attached to the jib halyard, but we also have to attach the rope that adjusts the jib height first before hoisting the jib. The height should be adjusted according to the wind conditions. Then we can hoist the jib from the mast until the wire comes out of the mast and hook it on the tension blocks that help to put the tension needed on the mast. Now that there is tension on the mast, we can put on the main sail. In the beginning, we slide the foot of the main sail onto the boom and attach the outhaul to the clue of the sail. Then we put the main halyard on the head of the main sail and hoist it. When finished, we attach the boom to the mast. The boom should be secured with a small rope to make sure it cannot become unattached while sailing. We are ready to sail!